Now, the next model is non-interference model. Now, the, no, the goal of the non-interference model is to make sure that the actions of one subject does not impact the actions of another subject. Okay. So, how should I, let me give you an example here. Let's say there is a system, there is a, there is a shared system on which multiple users work. Okay. There is a user called Mark. I'll take the example that is given here. So let's say there is an there is a user Mark who works on that system, system one, and there is Dory as well who works on the same system. All right. Now Mark has, let me see if I can go to the drawing board here. Yeah. Okay. So let's say there is this shared system here. Okay. And there are two users. So we have Mark working on the system. And then we have Dory as well working on the system. Now Mark has got a, a higher level of security clearance. So let's say Mark has got access to secret information, secret yeah, information. And Dory can only access public information. And both types of information exist on this system. So Dory works on the system as well, and Mark also works on the same system. Now let's say there is a file here on the system which has got some content here. And this file is classified as public file. Now this file, because it is classified as public file, Dory can access this file. And similarly, Mark can access this file as well. All right. Now both of them work on this file. And then Mark has got, and Mark then adds some really sensitive information here, which is very sensitive. And then he closes the file. And then he reclassifies the file from public to secret because mark just added some secret information some sensitive information to this file so now mark has reclassified the file has changed the classification of the file from public to secret all right now when uh, let's say half an hour or one hour or maybe next day when dory comes into the office and works on and and tries to open this file dory sees that she is no more able to access the file why because now the classification level of the file has changed from public to secret and Dory does not have access to secret level of information. Dory only has access to public level of information, right? So now Dory is not able to access this file anymore, but Dory now can relate it to the fact that because the because Dory is no more able to access the file, that means something secret must be stored in this file. And because Dory had access to this file before, Dory may be able to infer some information. Dory may be able to deduce or Dory may be able to guess some information which she is not intended to access, right? Simply because of the fact that Dory did have access to this file before. So in this case, what has happened is that the actions of Mark on the file have interfered with the actions of Dory and has and have opened up a potential uh, potential of leaking the information to Dory. Okay, and that is the goal of non-interference model. So the non-interference model says that the actions of the subject at a higher level should not impact the actions of a subject at a lower level. That is the goal of non-interference model. So let's go back to the mind map here and take a look at it. It says it ensures that any actions that take place at a higher security level do not affect actions that take place at a lower level. And it is not concerned about flow of data. Like I was telling you earlier in the, in the case of information flow model, a non-interference model is not concerned about flow of data. Rather, it's concerned about how actions of a subject at a higher level can impact the state for the subject at lower level. And lower level entity should not be impacted by the actions of the higher level entity. Otherwise, the lower level entity can deduce too much information. Like in my example I gave you, Dory could, in, could deduce some information because of the fact that the file was earlier accessible to her. And non-interference model addresses covered channels and inference attacks. Okay, inference attack is nothing but uh, an attack where you can infer some information, where you can guess some information, which ideally you should you should not be uh, you should not have access to. Okay, and this is the same example that I gave you earlier. So that is non-interference model. 